everyone doing out there? I am going to wait. Um, I'm going to start at 5.15 as promised. 5.15 as promised. I'm going to start. I'm going to wait for some more people to get on so I can get started with my live video today. So, if you are on, I need you to click like and share. I want you to invite someone on. I want you to uh, comment. Um, we're gonna get started at 5.15, so I'm gonna turn off my ringers on my phone because I don't wanna be interrupted. We are going live. I need you to let me know if you are out there. Send me some heart, send me some love while I get set up. Renee, how are you, Renee? It is great to see you on live. I need you to click like and share. Everybody click like and share because I have something good to say and no, it is not about real estate. So I need you all to click like and share. We're going to get started at 5.15 uh, with live and I need to get some more people on here. So I need a lot of you to get on here. I need you to get on here. We are going live at 5.15. 15, I need uh, need to see who on here. Who's on here? I need some people on here. We're going live, live, live. So I need you on live. I'm gonna share it out. Join me live now. Tag someone. Never did live before, never did this live before, so I want you all to uh, join me with the live, help me out with the live. Need you to, we got some viewers that's coming on, I need you to click like and share. And even if I have two viewers, I need y'all to stick with me. Two viewers, I need y'all to stick with me um, on the live, okay? This is my first time going live on Facebook, and um, I'm so excited today. Today is such a good day uh, today, and I am so excited. I won't be before you all long when I do this live. I will not be uh, long at all. So uh, I can't wait to tell you what I have to share. It is 514, it is 514. So um, if you are there, I want you to click I'm here present. If you are there, uh, click like and share on it. Uh, if it's just me and one person, I need one person to hear if it's just me and one person. but. Hopefully we get some more people on this live because I have something good to say um, on this live. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It is 5.15. It is 5.15 and I promised you all that I will be live. Renee, thank you for always joining me live. Uh, thank you for always supporting me. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that because I, I got something to say. It is 5.15, so I'm going to begin, and hopefully I get some more people on um, live today, uh, hopefully, hopefully. Again, this is my first time doing this, so stick with me, stick with me, uh, have patience with me uh, with this live and the technology. I might be looking all around because I have different screens that's going on on my computer, so I'm trying to move different things around. Um, Renee, I need you to help me. Let me know if somebody on um, or whoever's on. If they get on, let me know. Um, mm -hmm. Let me know how I'm doing. 
and uh, Renee is somebody that always tells me, girl, if you need to get off, get off, you know, so let me know that too, Renee, because I really can't um, see myself on it, so I hope I look okay, um, I, need, and I hope I look okay, we'll, we'll see, uh, but today, I want to talk about, I have a title, um, and I wrote everything down that I wanted to say because I couldn't be here long. You all know I have little ones, so I have to um, get to my little ones. Uh, but today, I wanted to um, talk about something, and it is called, What Are Your Numbers? It is called, What Are Your Numbers? It's called, Do the Math. And I wrote something out and I hope everybody can hear me. If you can hear me, give me some hearts. If you can hear me, give me some hearts. Uh, but so it's going to be just a, a plain conversation. My name is Latoya London and I'm going live here. So hello everyone. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if they don't come, they'll save this and it'll, it'll, they can view it later or what have you. I uh, sent it out for uh, them to come on. But hello, everyone. I thank you for joining me tonight. I promise you that I will not take up too much of your time. To be honest, I can't even believe I'm going live today. Um, but I am learning that I need to be, be obedient and to follow that big voice in my heart. Um, so I'm going live. Again, this is my first time going live doing this. So I want you all to click like and share um, because someone may can be uh, benefited by this. They can benefit from this. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to get you to buy anything. I'm not trying to sell you a house. I'm not trying to get you to list your house. Uh, this is totally... Um, Totally about me. Totally about me. So, all right. It again is called. It's called. What are your numbers? Do the math. With that being said, I need you all to stay with me on the live. I need you to give me some encouragement. I need you to click like. I need you to click share. I need you to click your heart. Show me that you're with me. Um, I need you to be patient with me. I want you to interact with me. Let me know that you are listening. Let me know that I'm not out here by myself. There's a little arrow in the button that says share it. Share it out on your page. Um, and then again, for those who um, can't hear it, they'll join on or it, I'll save it and they'll be able to uh, hear it. Okay. So again, thank you for joining me on this live. Again, this is a first for me. I also ask that if you like what's being said, again, click like, share, ask someone to join. Put a heart in the chat if you could do that, all right? All right, so let me begin. I'm going to be comfortable, everyone. A friend told me about two Sundays ago that the average human life expectancy is 75 years old, I believe. 75 years old. He could have said 70 or 72. I'm not sure. But let me ask you, whoever is on, if you could put it in chat, what do you think the average human life expectancy is? How long do you think that average human, based on science, how long do you think we are supposed to live? You could put it in the chat. Put it in the chat if you think it. Any number, if you think it's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, what do you think that the life expectancy is? Give you a couple seconds. Give you a couple seconds. Somebody says 70, 80. Anybody else? All right. Well, because I'm the type of person who likes to verify everything, I researched what my friend was telling me. And I found out that as of 2022, 2022, this year, the human life expectancy is 72 years old. Now, that's an increase from 2021. God says it's 100, uh, 100 for me, good. Now, that's an increase from 2021. So science says that in the world, as of today, it's 72 years old. That's what science says. So let's take it a little bit further because you all know that I'm an educator at heart. My friend who told me we were talking about life expectancy 
And my friend took out his calculator and he started to do some math. Okay, hold on, don't leave, because I know some of you do not like math, so don't leave yet, okay? He took out his calculator, he started to do some math. I promise you, I will not ask you to calculate anything, all right? So, we did the math. Let's say we did the math, I can't remember whether the number was 70, 71, 72, whatever, but I'm going to do the math based on the science of 73 years old. The math, let's use the age of 73. How many days are in a calendar year? How many days are in a year? Everybody should know how many days are in a calendar year. Does anybody know? I'm sure you do. Yes, 365 days are in a calendar year. Good, I knew you were thinking it. You didn't type it in the chat, but I knew you were thinking it. All right, so listen to this. If we take 365 days in one year, that means there are 26,645 days in 73 years. So when I was talking to my friend, he was like, wow. I mean, he gave me that look. He was like, wow. 26,645 days is not a big number. So 73 years equals 26,645 days. I looked at him, he looked at me, and I agreed. Nah, 26,645, that's not a lot of days. And basically, that was the end of the conversation. That brings me to today, today, to today. Today I woke up at 5 a.m. I always use the first hour of my day for me. Because before any of the kids wake up, before any texts or phone calls, the first hour of my day is for God and I. Today was a little different. And this is why I'm going live. Today was a little different. Also in the morning, I journal. I journal every morning. And as I start to journal today, God asked me, what are your numbers? God told me to do the math. So again, I'm learning to listen to that big voice in my heart. So I did the math. I am 43 years old. I am a woman that tells her age. So if you want to tell your age, go ahead and put it in the chat. I am 43 years old. Based on the math, I have used up 15,000. 695 days of my life. That is based on me living until I am 73 years old. I have used up 15,695 days of my life. Don't panic though. I'm not planning on committing suicide. I'm not predicting that I'm going to live to be 73 years old. Nothing like that. I believe in the entire Bible, okay? I'm letting you know that up front. I know that Jesus said in Matthew 24, 36, no man knows the day or the hour, all right? I'm not a pastor, so you can go read that for yourself. I'm going to say that several times. Somebody can type it in the chat. Latoya is not a pastor. So I'm not predicting my life. I'm not saying that I'm committing suicide or anything like that. What I'm saying is based on the science and the number that they said that the average person in 2022, the numbers are they live until they're 73 years of age. My numbers, I'm just talking about me. At 43 years old, I used up 15,695 days of that 73 years, right? So, but in the Bible, Matthew 24, 36, it says, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, my father only. Okay, so this is live. This On this live, I'm not predicting my death or life. Just stay with me. I'm going somewhere. I promise you I'm going somewhere. I'm talking about my numbers now. I'm talking about my numbers. So let's get back to it. The scientists say that the average life expectancy is 73 years or 
26,645 days. And I, myself, Latoya London with a capital T, have used up 15,695 days. That could mean, if we base my life on science, that could mean that I have 10,950 days or 30 years left to live. I'm going to repeat that. Based on my age of 43 years old, if we listen to science, based on 73 years old, saying that I'll live to 73 and I will die at 73, that means I have 10,950 days or 30 years left on this earth. In 30 years, I'll be 73 years old. All right? So stay with me. You all also may know that I am a realtor too. Again, I told you I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to get you to buy a house or anything like that. But let me do a shameless plug. Please call me for all of your real estate needs. 954-601-6639. But that's not the purpose for this live. Stay with me. Just a little shameless plug. All right. So the average mortgage loan is 30 years. Based on what the scientists say, I have 30 years to live. I have 10,950 days. I have $10,950 in my bank account. And let me tell you, that is not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money at all especially when you have all the bills that I have and you like to go out like me. I can make a mean reservation. So, as my friend would say, that number isn't big at all. 10,950 days. That's not big at all. So this morning, as I continued to journal, I thought about a text conversation as well that I had with my spiritual father. I had a, I had a conversation. Again, we're talking about what are your numbers. Do the math. Stay with me. If you miss some of it, I'll kind of go back to you. But stay with me. So this morning, as I continue to write in my journal, I thought about a text conversation that I had with my spiritual father. Click a heart, click like, and share if you're on here with me. I need to know you're listening to me. My spiritual father, he's my forever pastor. He is retired now, but I often seek his advice on anything that's going on with my life. So this morning, as I continue to journal, I thought about a text conversation that I had with my spiritual father. One day I text him and I asked him about a person in the Bible and the, don't get me wrong if I mess up the name, but the name of the person in the Bible was Methuselah, Methuselah. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This was a guy in the Bible and he told me, I asked him a question. I was like, did people really live 300 and some odd years um, back in the day, 900 years? Did, did people really do that? I asked him, I was like, I read that in the Bible. So my spiritual father told me my spiritual father told me that this was a guy in the Bible. He told me that Methuselah, I hope I'm saying that wrong, Methuselah. He told me that Methuselah was the oldest, the oldest human ever. He told me it was the oldest human ever. Okay, so again, I'm talking about what are your numbers. If you're with me, click heart, like, share. All right, I'm talking about what are your numbers. So we're doing a math. So... Even though he's my spiritual father, you know who I am. I researched whether he was telling me the truth or, or not, right? I always know that he's going to tell me the truth, right? But I always research everything, not because I don't trust my spiritual father, but because he, and he's a pastor, but I ask a lot of people questions. I ask a lot of people questions and I always go back and research things for myself. All right. So stay with me. All right. So based on the math again, we have 73 years to live. Based on the math, the average expectancy is 73 years. Make sure you all click like and share, all right? The life expectancy is 73 years. That's 26,645 days, all right? 
I have already, I'm talking about me, I have already used 15,695 days. I have 10,950 days left or 33, 30 years left. I'm just recapping for those that are just joining. You get a mortgage for 30 years, okay? Again, I'm not predicting my life or death. But this guy in the Bible, Methuselah, was the oldest human ever. I researched it for myself. And the Bible says in uh, 2 Timothy 2.15, be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly divided the word of truth. All right? That's why I researched. Because to me, 2 Timothy 2.15 tells me to study and learn the truth for myself. I don't put my trust in God. I, I mean, I don't put my trust in man. I put my trust in God. So again, I'm not a pastor. Go read that Bible verse yourself and gain your own knowledge. But stay with me. I'm going somewhere on this. So this was the oldest man that ever lived in the Bible. I researched what my spiritual father said. And I also asked a friend as well. And I was directed to Genesis 5, 27. The oldest man lived for 969 years. The oldest man. We are only expected to live based on science 73 years. The oldest man lived for 969 years. And that's coming from Genesis 5.27. And to quote it, it says, So all the days of Methuselah were 969 years. And he died. Again, I'm not a pastor. Somebody type that in the chat. She is not a pastor. Go read it in the Bible. I'm just, I'm just giving you some facts here. Stay with me. I'm talking about what are your numbers. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. All right. So today, humans do not live that long. And I asked my spiritual father, why? Why do, why do we not live that long? Why can't we live 969 days? Why, why can't we live 300 years? Why, if they did it in the Old Testament, why can't we do that? I'm not a pastor. So my spiritual father said he led me to Genesis 6.3. And it talks about a covenant between God and a man. And this covenant states that man would live no more than 120 years. So science says that we have 73 years to live. God says that no man would live no more than 120 years. That's based on Genesis 6 and 3. And I'm going to quote it. And it says, the Lord said, my spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh. Yet his day shall be 120 years. Do I need to say my disclosure again? Do I need to say my disclosure again? I'm not a pastor. No? Okay. So I'm just, go read it for yourself. But stay with me. Stay with me. I'm going to keep saying that. Somebody type in the chat. Stay with her. Stay with her. This was good news to me this morning as I was journaling. And this is all at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I got happy because it gave me an opportunity as a goal setter to set new goals in my life for my life expectancy. I set new goals now. I'm always setting goals. My new prayer is that God will fulfill his covenant in my life. And that I will too live 120 great years. I want health. I want happiness for 120 years. I want to do the will of God for 120 years. I want his will to be done in my life for 120 years. So let's get back to the math. For those of you who are just joining, thank you for your support. Stay with me. Share it. Let's get back to the math. Someone told me early in the chat, there are 365 days in a year. If I multiply that times 120 years, these are my numbers. That means I have 43,800 days to live. If I take away 43 years or 15,695 days that I have used, that means that I have 28,105 days to live my life abundantly. No, that number is not a big number. 28,105 days is not a big number. 
Time goes fast. Look, we're on December 7th right now. It's the end of the year. We're getting ready to walk into 2023. So if God, so if it's God's will, I can safely say I have now and 73 years left to live. I can die right now or I can live up to 77 years or I can live as long. It's all in God's hand. I can die right now or he can allow me to live until I'm 120 years old. And that's going to be my prayer. As long as I'm happy, as long as I can wipe my own backside, I'm going to be happy. This brings me back to this morning, 5 a.m. this morning. I begin to ask myself, how can I not miss my mark with God? I began to ask myself how I can live every day to glorify God. How can I maximize every day so that in the end, I can hear well done? How can I prepare my ch children for my death? How can I create generational wealth? How can I please God? At 5 a.m., I had so many questions. I, I still have many questions because I'm not a pastor. But today I decided to encourage myself. On December the 7th, 2022, at 5 a.m., between 5 and 6 a.m. this morning, I decided to encourage myself, and I want you all to do the same. I came on this live today to tell you all to do the math. My broker, Tanisha Williams, told me that you should always know your numbers. I have a very analytical friend, analyzes everything. You need to know your numbers. And I want to tell you today that you need to live for God. I'm giving you all a call to action, and that's the reason for my live today. I want you to do the math and ask the same questions. I want you to know that fear is never an option. Fear of death is not an option for me and it should not be an option for you. No matter whether you have one day to live, 73 days to live, 20,000 days to live, fear is never an option. I got excited about my life today on December 7th. Not that I have never been excited, but today I really got excited when God told me or asked me, what are my numbers? Do the math. He said, what are your numbers? Do the math. I'm excited about my life right now today because I know that if I drop dead right now and my son is listening, my, my second son, my baby, he's listening. I know, Javon, if I drop dead right now, I'm in the will of God. And I know right now today that he awaits me in heaven. And I'm excited about my countdown because I know that every day I'm closer to being with God, my daddy, my maker. Now, some of you may not know this, but I'm a, I'm a competitor. I love to compete. I don't like to lose. I have been told lately that I'm aggressive. I say assertive, but hey, everyone has an opinion. I even came up with a word that, oh no, my spiritual mother, uh, I call her Mother Hankerson. I came up with a word, oh, she came up with a word and she said, you know, Latoya, I don't think you're aggressive. I think you're aggressively assertive. <laughs> so yeah, everybody has an opinion, but I always want to win. I want to win at this game in life. I'm a competitor at heart on all levels. And today at 5 a.m., I decided that I wanted God to be proud of me. I want God to say to me, like I read in Matthew 25, 23, he said this, he said, his well done, good and faithful servant, you have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler of over many things. Enter in the joy of the Lord. That's what I'm waiting on. That's why I encourage my children no matter what. Because affirmations, your kids want to make you proud. I want to make God proud. At the end of the day, whether he lets me live to be 120 years old, or whether he lets me live to be 44, or whether he takes me tonight, 
I want him to say, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter the joy of your Lord. Whether it's on earth or whether it's in heaven, I want God to be proud of me. So I'm almost done. So today I believe that God has given me a few things and I have decided to give God my life. And I gave him my life totally this year. 2022 was a year of change for me, okay? It was a year of new beginning. It was a year that I got free. I believe that God has directed me to speak about my life. And as my good friend Shamika says, I have a story to tell. And I believe that I've been trying to negotiate with God and I've been toiling and I've been talking back and forth to God. Um, and I, I told my other friend, I said, I'm in negotiations with God. And my friend told me, it ain't no negotiating with God. You just have to be obedient and do what God says. So I decided that I'm going to be obedient and I did this live video today and I'm going to do what God says. I am no longer concerned by what people may think of me or my past. I'm living every day to make him proud. I'm going Facebook live where I know that when you put things on the internet, you can never take it off. My kids are going to have this video. God took care of whatever I did in my past. I don't, I don't even have to talk about it unless I'm giving my testimony. I don't have to uh, justify it. I don't have to make excuses, nor do I have to be ashamed. God took care of all of that when I accepted him as my personal Lord and Savior, and he saved me. I heard a preacher say, tell the whole story when you talk about me. Tell the whole story when you talked about me. Yes. I was not an angel child. Yes, I got some bad grades. Yes, I was sneaky and stole money from my parents as a child. Yes, I was boy crazy. Yes, I used to skip school, go with my boyfriend. Yes, I snuck into nightclubs. Yes, I used to drop it like it was hot in brick house and uh, every club that I could get into. Yes, I got speeding tickets. Yes, I used to get drunk. Yes, I have four kids and three baby daddies. Three. Four kids, three baby daddies, and I'm proud of it. Yes, I was a mistress in love with a married man for over 21 years. Yes, I'm 43 years old, single, and never been married. Yes, I was messy. Yes, I was toe up from the flow up. Yes, I was all of that. But when you tell my story, I need you to tell the whole story like that pastor say. And the whole story is, yes, I'm a child of God and he saved me. He watched over me even in the midst of my wrongdoing. He has put people in my life to save my life. God has taken care of all of my mess and I am a new creature and my goal is to please God. God comes first in my life and anything or anyone that tries to disconnect me from God has to go. Kids included, friends included, jobs included, men included. God comes first. So I'm in connection with God. And me and God are in connection. And if anybody tries to disconnect that, they got to go. So in closing, I will live 120 happy years. I did what God told me to do today with this live. I did my numbers. I know my numbers. I will live 120 happy years. I have 77 years to prove my love to God. And if it is his will, I know he will not let me die. He will let me live 120 years. And when I die, I know that's not the end. But I know this again, if I die tonight, I'm going to heaven. And now I'm free. I'm living for God and I will not look back. Lot's wife looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. I will not look back. 
And I need each of you to hold me accountable for that. The world has to deal with Latoya S. London with a capital T for a long time. So get used to it. Get used to seeing my face. I'm done. I just need all of you to pray and agree with me. I did type up a little prayer so I can stay on task. But I need you to um, pray with me real quick and I'm finished. I did what God told me to do. Share, click like, share. We're going to pray and I'm going to end. Dear God, I thank you for saving me. I thank you for keeping me. I thank you, Father, for bringing the right people in my life at the right time. I thank you for keeping me from the wrong people. I thank you for my past, Father God. It has prepared me for my future. I thank you, Holy Ghost, for entering into my body and keeping me. God knows I can't do this thing called life alone. I thank you, God, for whatever time I have left on this earth. Let your will be done in my life. I will not be afraid to die. I will live. I am excited to hear, well done, my child, when I get to heaven. I adore you, God. You are my everything. Thank you for loving me and keeping me. I will not disappoint you this time, God. God, please touch the hearts of those who are listening to this message. Let them know that if I can do it, they can too. Show them your love, grace, and mercy that you have showed me. Forgive us all for our sins. And God, to the one that may not know you, the one that is not happy, the one who is stuck, Help them to turn their life around, God. Your word says, until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. I'm asking you now, God, to save and help those that may be feeling overwhelmed by the time that they have left on this earth. It's not about the time we have left. It's about what we are going to do with the time we have left. Assure us all, God, that we are loved by you. We are not alone, even when we think so. You are not done with us, and you will never leave us. God, we give you all the glory and the praise, and we say thank you and amen. If you like that message, give me some hearts. If you like that message, share this video, and I just want you all to think about your time. What are your numbers? Do the math and live for God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. Have a good night. Bye.